Now that noise you hear are cicadas, and these are periodical cicadas. These cicadas come out once every 13 or 17 years, depending on the species. Now, I'm in northern Mississippi, and the brood 23 cicadas are a 13-year species that come out, and it's 2015, and this is their year. They won't be seen again until 2028, uh, but for now, they're making a lot of noise. Now, these cicadas, they live down in the ground as nymphs, and the nymphs are feeding on the trees, the, the trees sap for 13 years, and once these uh, 13 years pass, they'll emerge out of the ground, often at night, and they will uh, shed their, their exoskeleton for their final molt, develop wings, and be able to traverse fairly long ways. Now these cicadas are very small, but they can make a very loud noise. The male's abdomens are completely hollow, <laughs> and uh, they basically allow for the noise to be amplified so it can be travel over thousands of feet, if not miles, depending on the particular species. The brood 23 cicadas are the lower Mississippi Valley cicadas, and this basically goes from uh, Illinois all the way down to the coast. And these cicadas are only found around here. Now there's a number of different broods uh, of different species found throughout the eastern U.S. And this is probably one of the most interesting uh, phenomena in the world. No one really knows how these cicadas time their, their emergence to every 13 years or every 17 years and uh, all emerge at the same time in a few, few weeks. Uh, but they do it and it's a fascinating phenomenon. Now the question is often brought up as to why 17 years or why 13 years. And these are prime numbers and it's thought that predators have a very difficult time predicting when the emergence is going to be on a prime numbered year. So emerging every 13 years or every 17 years avoids predators being able to evolve to be able to predict when these, these cicadas are going to emerge. They basically have the strategy of satiating the predator population so that they can breed in peace. Millions of these cicadas will emerge over the course of a couple of weeks and predators will get their fill but there's still going to be too many cicadas for them to to deal with. And as a result these cicadas will be able to breed in peace. These cicadas have no defenses. They're fairly slow moving, they can't fly very fast, their only defense is their numbers and they bank on that to be a very good defense and it shows that it actually is judging from the number of cicadas that are actually making noise. This emergence results in a massive influx of nutrients into the ecosystem. Not only are predators getting their fill but many of the cicadas that emerge will never make it. They, they end up dying, they end up having complications with emerging out of their, their nymph form, and they'll die right next to the trees uh, which they, they fed on. And in doing so, they'll rot and release very important nutrients, including nitrogen, back into the soil, which the trees will absorb. So it's a very important part of the ecosystem in the eastern U.S. In a few weeks, this roar will die, and these cicadas will disappear for another 13 years. The cicadas are eaten by just about everything, including people. Uh, they have a very nutty flavor, and uh, they're actually quite good. Thanks for watching.